In Jewish and Christian beliefs, an angel is a holy entity created by God himself. It's on very rare situations where a human gets elevated to the rank of an angel. But the Hebrew Bible does not talk about the presence of these angels. As for most sources, there are only two humans who gained angelic status. One of them is the Archangel Sandalphon, while the other is Metatron. Because of this reason, some texts refer to the two angels as twin brothers. Sandalphon was the Old Testament prophet Elijah, who was brought to heaven and turned into an archangel. He is often referred to as the angel who is in charge of delivering human prayers before God. So he knows the power of prayer, the reason to pray, and what it means to receive an answer to a prayer. It's not just because he is the intermediate between humans and God, but also because he himself was once a human who prayed immensely. It is said the prayers are being answered only when Sandalphon is present. You would feel once the prayer was delivered to God, and if the desired wish was not granted, Sandalphon would make you realize the reason for it. Because he was a human before the angelic elevation, Sandalphon connects well with the natural world and so understands human needs and desires better than other angels. The name Sandalphon is said to be derived from the Hebrew word sandek, which is a term used by the Jews to refer to the godfather of a child. In Jewish beliefs, Prophet Elijah is believed to be the protector of children, thereby considering him a sandek. This highlights the connection of the angel with his human form Elijah. Others believe the name comes from a Greek term that has the meaning brother or co-brother. It is argued that the name Sandalphon has the same roots of the modern Greek term synadelphos, which mean co-worker. In these lines of beliefs, the name Sandalphon refers to the brotherhood he shares with the Archangel Metatron. Sandalphon is considered as one of the tallest angels in heaven. When Moses saw Sandalphon on his visit to the third heaven, he referred to the angel as the tall angel. It is commonly known that Sandalphon exceeds the height of Hadraniel, who is the gatekeeper, at the second gate in heaven. Some sources claim that a human would take 500 years to walk the length of his body. Other sources claim that Sandalphon exceeds Hadraniel's height by a 500-year foot journey. A journey along his earlobe would take a human 70-year walk. If Sandalphon stands on earth, his head would reach the heavens. Regardless of being a very tall being, Sandalphon is believed to have a childlike face. He wears a shining white robe. The angel is frequently seen carrying a musical instrument, most often a harp, because of his association with music. In the Key of Solomon, it is mentioned the two angels or cherubim on the Arch of the Covenant represent Sandalphon and Metatron. Of the two angels, the left-hand feminine cherub represents Sandalphon. The two angels are also believed to be positioned at the opposite ends of the Tree of Life, Metatron at the top and Sandalphon at the bottom. Sources also refer to Sandalphon as the Dark Angel, while Metatron is the Bright Angel. This doesn't mean that the angel is evil, but just that the two angels balance the cycles of nature. As for the Jewish text Zohar, he is the chief of the seventh heaven. Just as Michael, Sandalphon commands the battle against the angel of demons. So Sandalphon is a warrior angel who fight off the devil. Sandalphon is also considered the master of heavenly songs. These melodies are so divine that it could remove all sins from a soul. Sandalphon not only delivers the prayers to God, but also helps humans to pray. He gives them the urge to pray and help them concentrate. Other than being an agent of human prayers, Sandalphon is also recognized as the guardian of the earth. So the angel is connected with nature and thereby with natural spirits such as fairies, gnomes, and many more. Seeking help from Sandalphon is the best way to easily connect with these nature spirits. 
The angel helps the trees to grow and nourish the animals. Sandalfon helps humans connect with nature and would favor those who protect nature. Understandably, the easiest way to anger the angel is by harming the nature. Basically, the angel helps the life energy of creation by nurturing the environment. Sandalfon is also connected with children and the inner child of the human soul. As the Hebrew meaning of the name suggests, he is the godfather of all children. It is this angel that decides the gender of the embryo and would care for the mother and the baby throughout the pregnancy. This describes his connection with the tree of life. If the life of the baby is lost while in the womb, Sandalfon would safely take the soul back to heaven and place it in the tree of life. Another important task of the angel is that he whispers the purpose of life to the baby in the womb. It's this purpose that becomes the first memory of the child. One would argue that the archangel creates the destiny of a person. To access this memory, one would need to reach the innermost core of the memory. With the help of the angel one could learn to concentrate and remember his or her first memory. Also if the pregnant mother connects with the angel, she can ask for his help for the child to remember his first memory. The angel can also help grown adults to help them find their lost inner child. Sandalfon can help a person become the innocent and pure child he once used to be. As the master of heavenly songs, the angel is connected with music. Music is a method that connects people together without any discrimination, just like children. His music has the power to heal, unite, bring back memories, inspirations, and much more. When you feel a connection with certain music in a positive way, that means you are in the presence of the angel. Other than music, the angel would also appear in dreams. If you ever had a dream where someone pure and holy appeared, or if the dream is so vivid, that means Sandalfon has appeared in your dream. Another sign that the angel is closer is the vivid lights that appear in the corner of your eye. If you feel cold in a warm room or warm in a cold room, it is also a sign the archangel is closer. Animals who produce incredibly beautiful sounds are believed to be a manifestation of the angel. If you suddenly hear an animal cry so beautifully, it is a sign that the angel is trying to reach you. Unlike his twin brother Metatron, there is no much information about Sandalfon. Yet Sandalfon is an important angel that cares for humans even at birth. Being a human himself, the angel has positioned himself well as the one who delivers human prayers to God. The angel understands what it means for a human's prayer to be heard, so calling him and seeking his assistance before making your requests to God would probably improve your chances of being heard by God. What do you think of this story? Let me know your thoughts and anything I might have missed. Thank you so much my Patreon and subscribers for your amazing support. If haven't already and if you'd like to support me, you can do so by being a Patreon, a YouTube member, and a subscriber. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again with another story to tell.